Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Aladdin for the Genesis, where we last left off. We are collecting pieces of apples while running a lava wave. Now, I remember sucking at this stage as a kid, but if I do remember correctly, if you lose enough times, it just lets you through, since it's just kind of a mini game. I think I may have turned the uh, in game volume down a little too much. Maybe overkill. But whatever. Now, I don't think the apple slices ever actually lead you directly into death. No, it looks like they do. Okay, I'm not gonna follow the apple slices, I'm just gonna follow the hand. Oh, wow. I know you're supposed to be, like, playing this game like an old TV, this is Genesis game, but... Playing this on a full-screen monitor, a widescreen one at that, my eyes burn. It's getting hardcore. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna get hit. I refuse to lose. Oh god. <laughs> that was mean game. <laughs> Question mark. Oh my god. I think I'm almost at the end. I don't think I ever beat this as a kid. I guess I just really sucked as a kid. And I thought I sucked at this game now. Oh, whoa. Oh, that was the last one, I bet. Okay, guys, take two. I bet this whole video is just going to be this stage. Quick little warning, guys, do not watch this full screen. My head hurts. <laughs> then again, I'm the one playing it. I actually have to really pay attention. I can do it this time, I need to remember that. Those question marks, you gotta stay at the bottom for question marks, because I don't think I've ever seen a question mark go through the bottom. Okay, I can do this. I'm just gonna... I'm totally gonna ignore these apple slices. I don't see the... As soon as I see that arrow, that arrow I ignore the apple slices. That's how it's gonna go. I'm always taking bottom if it's like a question mark. And there's hair in my mouth. I hate when that happens. It's the pain of having long hair. Oh. Oh! I shouldn't go to the top too early. I should go to the middle. That'd be a better idea. In case any of you are wondering, no, I can't go forwards or backwards to give myself extra time. I can only go up and down. And, uh... A, B, and C buttons aren't doing anything, so this is just up and down. At least I'm getting a lot of genie heads. Don't remember what those do. Don't have the greatest memory for this. It's been about a week since I recorded last. You'll notice that, actually, uh, I did not upload either of my Let's Plays on the walkthrough corner here last week. Um, embarrassingly enough, I completely forgot. I'm not even gonna pretend and say I'm I was busy or anything. I forgot, and I apologize for that, especially considering I still do a video a day on my channel. I really should not forget. Ah, I got past that part. See, I'm a god. <laughs> not falling for it. I gotta go back to the middle by default all these times, because... Then I can get up and down the fastest. Okay. I'm in the really hard part now. Whenever a land ducks down, that means it's coming. Bottom. Top. To oh! Okay, I think it let me through out of pity. Wonder how long that was. Maybe if I started, you know, using my stopwatch, I'd remember. Oh, come on! I think it's time for another dramatic reading. In the last instant before freedom, the mouth of the cave of wonders collapsed, trapping Aladdin and Abu inside. When Aladdin inspects his prize, he is suddenly swept into a strange world within the lamp.
Oh, I have to do this episode right away. This is my favorite stage in the game, and the link you're seeing right now is to Jawan's playthrough of the SNES one. He claims the SNES version of this stage is better. 